Hi, my dear subscribers and viewers. As I say, it's a kitchen from the bed. So today, I'll be showing you how to make the red cap that you saw on the thumbnail. Okay, but I will rather I'll be showing you how to mold the crown that I used to make the red hat. I won't be able to completely show you everything. Why? I was kind of um, I couldn't record because of time. I needed to do the. Um, hats, you know, it actually takes time more time when you're recording and doing at the same time, so it depends on when I want to deliver the product. So I couldn't record that, but I have pictures that I was taking as I was doing the processes. So if you want to know how to make it completely, you can check the description below. You will see the Ben Crafts Academy reception, the link there, the telegram link. So you click it by 8 pm today, that's the 4th of September. 2021 just in case you're watching it another year i will by 8 pm i'll be showing you how i made it in pictures text message i might do voice notes i don't know but there's no video that's the completion of the hat so this is the mode so let's get into today's training on learning how to mold the crown for the hat you saw in the thumbnail thank you and don't forget to subscribe so you keep on watching all my unique trainings take care Wait and watch. Alright. Okay, so here are the items we'll be needing to mold the crown of the hat. So we start off with our thumbnail. Some call it Tom Tack. I think that's how it's written on the on the carton. And some call it Tom Pin. So these are how they are. There's some other ones you will see that I used at the end. Then this is stiffener, then water. You will need a bowl your scissors, your chalk, measurement tape, your mold, the crown, this is the crown, that's how it looks. Then I'll be using paper mat, I think I used to call this straw mat, so paper mat or straw mat, then this is princess mat. So I'll be using the three of them to mold. So the first thing you're going to do is to measure your crown. Where did I go to? All right, hold on for me, I'll be back. Okay, and the gloves. Yeah, yeah, we need the gloves too. <laughs> All right then. So, the first thing you do, as I was saying before, is to measure your crown. Okay, and the crown turned out to be, and I'm adding an extra inch. Okay, so that it will go in like so. We got added two inches on both sides. So that turned out to be what? Oh, let me check. Hold on. Okay, so that was 17 when I just measured now. So we're going to be taking this is our paper um, princess material now that I'm going to be measuring. So I'm measuring. Eighteen. Okay, I decided to make it eighteen. I can see so that's half a yard that I'm using. So eighteen by eighteen. That's half a yard. So I'm going to measure that out. For my princess mat, I'm going to make any use of two. So I'll have two pieces of the 18 by 18. And I'm going to do the same for my paper mat, straw mat. I like to call it straw mat because it looks like the straw hat. So I'm going to be cutting it for that one. So I'm going to be doing 18 by 18 also for the paper mat. So I'm doubling it because I need two. 18 by 18 of the princess mat which is what I'm cutting right now okay keep watching and learning okay so this is my paper mat that's what they call it I call it straw mat mm -hmm. looks like straw mat the straw hat so I'm going to be doing the same, I'm going to be cutting half a yard also, that is 18 by 18. Okay, so you'll soon get to see how we make use of this. So keep watching and learning. Remember to stay to the end of my video because there's always a bonus or a gift or something. Don't watch halfway, stay to the very end. Alright.
okay so the first thing you want to do is cover up your crown and why you're covering your crown with nylon is to ensure that water doesn't spoil the wood so I'm going to cover in, I don't, don't like that stuff of the nylon being at that part so I'm going to have to use thumbnail to close it up well but if you have a tin film I think that's what it's called it would cover it up perfectly well those things like nylon that's those that make use a lot so it will cover it up perfectly well but I just make use of nylons you know kind of a way to recycle nylon so once I buy things with the nylons I just keep them and use them to mold to cover up my mold so now I'm using the thumbnails to hold it down if you use the tin film or you have a bigger nylon you would not need to do what I'm doing you just need to tie it behind but making it flat also would actually work very well for when you place it so you can be able to mold properly on it as the way you place it down it will sit flat like how it did so I think it finally turned out well for me so keep watching and learning so the next thing you're going to do is take your oil base that is my soulmate hair cream inside there <laughs> so I'm rubbing it all around I kind of like to use hair cream because finally the hat will sit on the head and the head normally takes hair cream isn't it okay so that's why I don't go for baby oil or, or Vaseline I make use of hair cream and that's soulmate hair cream Alright, so keep watching and then make sure it goes around everywhere that you're going to be covering so that it can come out smoothly from the mold, just like cake, you know. Alright, keep watching. It's time to mix, so pour our stiffener and then little water to mix it up. Yeah, you see, don't make it too watery, don't make it too thick. But the, the consistency from what I find out is that with time as you practice you get to know the consistency that works for you but you can see how it's dripping so first I fold it like so so that it will touch every area some people use brush brush I've told you before in my other videos where I molded I prefer to soak because I feel it touches every single area of the material you are making use of there's no area that won't get the um, stiffener do you understand but with brush I feel you might miss out the part some part might be soft and strong but this you're sure every part has the same so what I did was I put the paper mat for this princess mat first then the paper mat in between the two princess material that have cut so this is going to make your crown very thick do you understand me okay the stiffener I mixed finished so I had to make more so I'm going to fold it again and dip in. Remember the first layer is the princess mat, the next is the paper mat and the last is the um, princess mat again. Now I'm actually making use of princess mat because the base that I use for the hat which is a ready made base is princess mat. If it was straw mat I would have made my straw mat to be the one on top but since it was princess mat that was what was used on the main part that I'm using I had to do it that way so now you know the process we take so is anybody shouting with me north south east and west that is always your process when you are molding so that you will have less crease okay so now you're going to be grabbing all the other parts like so and you're going to be using your thumbnail to hold it now for crown when you're molding your crown actually you can't get it as smooth as other molds that you mold it normally has some pleats so you have to be careful and know how you want your pleats to appear give it some kind of trendy or lovely cheeky cute pleats okay so just keep watching and learning
Have you liked this video yet? Have you pressed that thumbs up down? Please do so if you haven't and let me know that you like my videos and encourage me to do more. Thank you. Okay, so after I was done, I realized that I needed to make use of this um, plastic, those thumbnails that have like plastic, whatever. And I got them and I had to use hammer because the thumbnails wasn't pressing because it's three layered. You know, I use three layers. So it was quite thick for the thumbnail. So I'm going around and checking the ones that the thumbnail couldn't stick well. And I'm going making use of this plastic thumbnail. They're not the, it has the pin part and the plastic head. So I'm using my hammer although it was breaking some of them probably because I've used them before so they are old so that's what I did and I did it all the way around to all those that were being lifted up so keep watching and learning Okay, so once you're drawn, you have to put it out in the sun to dry. Now because it's three layered, it actually took some time to dry. But it did finally dry and this is it. So now you take off your nails with the cutter. And that's how you hold the hat of a crown. I mean the crown of a hat. That's how I molded the crown to this lovely hat that you saw. So remember I said that the conclusion of this um, hat, you'll find it today in my telegram group. Even if you're not able to make it by 8 p.m., anytime you come in, just ask for the conclusion of the um, hat that you saw it's being molded online and you will get to have it because for telegram group, the videos stay on. So once you just say, we'll, I will direct you to the training. Hope to see you there. And I, I, I could have really loved to put up everything here, but I didn't video. So since it's pictures and text, just join me in the Vencraft Academy reception. See you there. So here is the bonus offer that you get to see the wide brim heart that I used for the base. 
So if you want to get to know how this was combined together with the molded hat, please do join me in the Telegram group as I said in the beginning. Until we meet in my next video, it's goodbye and God bless.